Good morning, Dave. Polls are now officially open, so you have until 7 o'clock tonight to get out and vote. But Dave, you mentioned one of the most talked about races in the country is the Senate race happening here in Texas. Hey, thank you, thank you. It's the time for choosing. It's the time for action. Senator Ted Cruz spent his election eve campaigning in the Houston area. He's urging his supporters to take at least five people to the polls today to get out and vote in what could become one of the most watched political races in the country. Cruz is seeking a second term. Now his opponent, Congressman Beto O'Rourke, went home to El Paso for his last stop before Election Day. A series of recent polls show the race is tightening, with Cruz holding a slim lead over O'Rourke. Both men agree on one thing. The voter turned now will determine who wins the race. Cruz has held 48 town halls and rallies over the past six weeks, while the congressman believes his statewide campaign will get him elected. We have visited every single one of the 254 counties of Texas, showing up for everyone. The differences between us of geography, of party, of who you voted for in the last election, of who you pray to, or whether you pray at all, who you love, how many generations you can count yourself a Texan or an American, or whether you just got here yesterday. None of that stuff matters now. The differences will not divide us, nor will they keep us from doing the great work ahead. My hope is that we can come together. One of the things I've really been trying to do in this campaign and in these rallies is, is bring Texans together, unify us. And here's a look at some of the other seats up for re-election. First, Governor Greg Abbott is running against Lupe Valdez for the state's top job. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick is battling it out against Democrat Mike Collier for that position. And another big one is the attorney general race. Ken Paxton, who currently holds the position, is running against Justin Nelson. For election day, we do have team coverage covering all of those races. Coverage starts tonight at 5.